last few days have been tough. But I'm back up. I'm back up. Nobody, nobody is ever going to break my spirit. Nobody. I'm never going to allow anyone to break my spirit. I'm back up. I mean, this was never a sprint. You know, I think we always knew this was a marathon. And what is most exciting about this is what we've built. There's an energy. There's a... <sighs> There's a sense, there's a resilient spirit that we've built. There's a unity, there's a oneness, and everyone is together in this fight. And we know that it's going to continue going for a while, but we're ready. We're, we're ready to keep it going. It's, it's, it's really unfortunate. We lost, we lost a lot of soldiers. Um, it's been a tough, it's been a tough past, past two weeks, in, in fact. You know, everyone that has been, that has fallen um, as a result of, police brutality as a result of the the gruesome um, acts of the military that we saw last week <sighs> but the least we could do is to make sure that they get justice that's the least we could do and I swear on my life I would do everything within my power to make sure that justice is served I, I know I said I'm not going to be on the panel, but I will follow every step of the way. In fact, I would be as good as on that panel. Make sure that everything that needs to be done in terms of legal representation, you know, for all the victims is in place. We need to make sure. We need to make sure. I have. I cannot stress this enough. We need to make sure that justice is served. It's the least that we owe the soldiers that we Following the development, a handful of indigenous and foreign celebrities have lended their voices in solidarity with the Nigerian youth championing the cause for a better Nigeria. However, a frontline Nigeria rapper, songwriter and actor, Folarin Falano, popularly known as Faz, has once again reaffirmed his utmost commitment, resoluteness in the struggle and getting justice for the murdered hashtag insas protesters of course you can see from the video um he said a lot the 29 year old rapper regretted that some people have died in the course of the struggle courtesy of the carlos engagement of nigerian security operatives he went on to ask everyone involved to work towards getting justice for the people who have died so far i think it's a good one Mm, and first made it clear that he will not be in the panel that we investigate the awful killings of a oh okay of hashtag answers protesters but swore on his life to make sure that justice is saved he stated that he will rather act as an under panel to provide legal representation for all the victims okay it's a good one nice one no more protests in Lagos. If you try it, uh, you will all regret it. Okay, that's what someone is saying here. What do you mean by that statement? Peaceful protest is constitutional. Let it get into your empty brain. Okay, that is it. God bless you, a gallant youth. Nigeria must be great. Either the devil likes it or not. It must be great. Those who are holding on to power, thinking they are powerful now, they will all go down. That is just it. You think that you are powerful? <laughs> oh my goodness. And someone is saying that there are no more protests in Lagos. Whether if people protest, you will go and, you, go, you are going to tell them not to protest again. At the, at the end of the day, you want to start to kill people. That is what you guys have done. Why are you guys are afraid of protest? If you have done where people will not protest. If things are working where people will not protest. And just like somebody was saying that, oh, they said the opposition is the one behind it. They are the one behind it. And people are saying, if they have done well, if you come and meet, if opposition comes to tell you that, oh, oh, eh, uh, instigate or whatever against the uh, the ruling party people will tell you no because it will be glaring because you are telling me that uh, okay we have a lot of everything at our disposal everything is fine and you are telling me that i should just go against the person it's not it's not gonna work it's not gonna happen it will not work so if if nobody needs anybody to tell anybody what is what it is because even the opposition they the ones because all of you are even the same in the first place we are talking about individuals I'm, I'm sure it is the opposition that told all those governors to hold all of those palliatives. Now they are coming out without shame that say, yes, they didn't hold it. Why did they not tell us? If really you are transparent, everything that is going on, you ought to have told us. Something that happened since May, they are not telling us uh, cock and boo stories. So all of them, all of those who are saying this country will not... 
be great because they want to be trampling upon the the masses. They are they want to continue to be oppressor. They will they will go they will go down. That is it. Since they have sworn that they want to be taken lives, they are the ones that will go down. And their global global embarrassment will continue to be their portion. Global embarrassment. Yes. Hmm. Very unfortunate set of people. Someone is asking that, uh, then who ordered the shooting of peaceful protesters at Lekki on the 20th of October 2020? Mm. That's a big question. Ah, Juju. Yes, who did that? But they are telling you that nothing happened. I think, thank God, that the, uh, one of the victims, the mother came out, and oh my goodness, and she she she, she told us everything. The governor just came out, fiam, fiam, no, no, casualty, fiam, fiam. That one is going to be a gradual process. I just said, let us even leave that one. Then who ordered, just like somebody is asking, then who ordered the police or the, the army to do that job? Who ordered them? They are not talking about that, but they are quickly, they've arranged on how to, on what, uh, what it will cost, one trillion naira. These people, <laughs> somebody who is covetous, whatever he has is not his own because even what he has is not enough for him. Even if somebody who does not, who is not even up to him, who is not even as rich as he is, he will still be looking at that person's wealth because of a, a covetousness. That is just the kind of people that we, we have as leaders. I'm very unfortunate. Well, Titus 3.1 says, Remind the people to respect the government and be law-abiding, always ready to lend, lend a helping hand. Titus, whatever, no insult, no fight. God's people should be uh, big-hearted and cautious. Okay, this one just wake up. Hmm, the quote Bible. Make I quote my own because the same Bible says fools find no pleasure in understanding but delight in airing their own opinions. I don't know. To to protest is constitutional. And these people they follow, they obey, they obey the law, they whether you are wherever you are quoting it for, whether the law of man or law of God, they obeyed and they were so peaceful. And what are we talking about? What are we talking about? Okay. Uh, we won't allow any magomago by Detective Inspector Fashola and his team to prevail either. Yes, now they're beginning to see uh, uh, hidden camera. I just can't stop laughing every time I see uh, this. Mm, like camera was where place mm, arise. Okay. <laughs> this is unfortunate. I will never forget 2010, 2020. I will tell my children and their children. I can't forget the... Um, Second, uh, agonizing night. I couldn't sleep. That's what somebody is saying here. Couldn't sleep. The trauma and devastation. How I almost lost my sanity. How can I ever forget that the government shot me in the heart? I am a Nigerian youth. <laughs> yes, so fast. I admire you a lot. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your fight. You are a true change maker. You will always be one of my fans. Or favorite, your songs, uh, hypocrite, hypocrite has been on replay for two days now. I'm listening to it right now, guys. Go listen to his. Okay, he's on YouTube. Well, so all this protest was just for us to lose to the government again. I wonder what we gain from it. We will get off the streets now. Hmm. Okay, street protest was a face. We uh, you will be. You, will, will, you, will you be on the street forever? No. See the recognition this has gotten. All that is needed is re-strategizing, which I'm sure will happen. There was no loss at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the people who think they are oppressors, they've ended up uh, disgracing themselves. And we are beginning to know all those, the vultures, the vultures in, in this government, those who are pretending, we are beginning to see a lot of them. So guys, let's hear your opinion concerning what Fazer said. Thank you.